and the duplicators uh, plugin from the uh, from WordPress. Right now, we have Docker Compose PS to see that I don't have anything on my machine currently. I have a Docker Compose file, and I will put the Docker Compose up and then detach mode so you can see that uh, it get create all the files on the my local directory because I have bind it on the volume of the uh, Docker Docker container. So. Uh, remember change the rights of the uh, files so you can edit them on the future the first thing we, that we need to do is to delete all the files all the files like I said uh, everything like from the WordPress uh, WP admin to the content and all that kind of stuff and uh, remember change the rights so you can delete them if not it's gonna be a hassle so you just change the right with it uh, sudo ch mode with recursive mode, mode and we're just gonna leave the docker compose file there so we can uh, keep track of things and now the next thing is to uh, bring the installer and the uh, zip file from from the uh, duplicator uh, plugin that we have we we'll, I will rename this because uh, I have two of them before so that's why and if you see I have my docker compose file here now the only thing you need to do is go to your local host 8080 or, or the port that is uh, binding to your container my case is 8000 uh, local host 8000 slash installer that php to bring the installer up so we check that uh, we have read all the contents and we go to the next step and it's going to extract all the files if you want to see that it's going to extract the files here remember to change the rights again uh, change the right so we can edit uh, all the files in the future and we go back and it's gonna ask for uh, the host of the database remember that it's gonna be the uh, name of the container on the docker compose file the name of the container on the docker compose file if you see that and uh, remember the database name that we create earlier it's gonna be the uh, the MySQL database, uh, MySQL user, and the MySQL password. In my case, is the same thing, so I don't have much problem. I just copy paste it, and we can test the database now, and we can see that everything is fine. Usually, the uh, I have a problem with the database uh, host. Uh, I put a local host, and that was my problem. Now, everything seems to be working, and the next thing is to uh, with a step three uh, and probably it's gonna ask us to change the uh, to provide an email address so you can provide uh, whatever email address that you want so I'm just gonna provide test that test <clears throat> and is now on step number three after this uh, the site is up and running so if you want to test the site you just go onto the admin login click on the admin login and it's going to bring you to the login page of your website so that's everything for today thank you for watching